Y en la sección de Positive te quiero contar que este papá soltero se mudó de Nueva York a Denver. Y para darle una mejor vida a su pequeñito, pero las cosas no han funcionado como él quería. Tenía un acuerdo de trabajo y vivienda que no resultó, por lo que se quedó sin hogar. A pesar de que nada iba bien, él no perdía la esperanza y todo cambió cuando eh, un presentador decidió ayudarlo. Así que, veamos. I'm in Denver, continuing on my mission of kindness. Let's see if the Mile High City can live up to its reputation as one of the friendliest places in America. So what made you decide to give it all up in New York and come and try for a new life here? Everything I do is for him. The reason I made this move is for him to, you know, be in a, a peaceful place, the mountains, and I want him to experience things that I missed growing up. You know, my dad did take me fishing and stuff, but he was always so busy, so I just want to be there. What's up, man, man? Hey, you're awake. Hey, man, man. Hey. <laughs> there, is, there is such a beautiful bond between you two. Thank you. I just got here a couple of days ago. I had a job set up and some housing arrangements set up. The housing arrangement fell through. Right now I'm homeless, you know, new two days in town. And I guarantee in a month's time, I'll make anything that I need to happen happen. It's like, you have to be brought down to your humblest point so you can appreciate other things that are waiting for you. And to anybody out there that, that feels like they want to humble, man, just keep going, man, it's not worth it. Don't let it consume you. How do you keep your sense of joy, your spirit soaring, when you're in this situation? Well, it's two things for me. This guy here, he fuels the fire, and then the med fusion between meditation and prayer, knowing that there's a higher power taking you through life experiences in order to mold you into something that you need to be. Or maybe to have this experience to be able to repay the debt when, you know, with someone else, when I get situated, you know, to pay it forward, man. I never expected it to be like this, but it's like this, you know what I'm saying? And, I've had number good help all the way, you know, so. You know, most people don't want to share their pain. I want to say thank you. And the way I'm going to thank you is by giving you $1,000. You're freaking kidding me, man. <laughs> thank you so much, man. <laughs> man I appreciate it, man. <laughs> And another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put you up in a hotel for the next seven days. Man. Okay? Man, thank you so much, man. en busca de la felicidad y fíjate Ay, que sí. bueno de Nueva York se fue a Denver a conseguir este trabajo Ajá. y este presentador eh, vio el caso y ahí está la oportunidad de verdad que qué que bueno tener ángeles eh, que nos puedan siempre a, ayudar apoyar y yo lo hablaba ayer con, con unas amigas y le decía bueno, muy bien ángeles se llaman ángeles ¿Sí? Dios razón. nunca te ha desamparado a veces cuando menos uno lo espera hasta sí. comida te lleva Exacto. es cierto o sea hasta comida te lleva nunca te ha dejado ningún la día sin comida y sabes que hay, hay algo claro. tan bonito también que cuando Dios está en silencio es porque también está trabajando porque muchas veces uno bueno, dice no pero es que no, no yo no miro yo salgo flote y usted tiene que orar trabajar trabajar también bueno